Assalamu alaikum. In this video, what I am going to show you that sometimes you need to find the duration or difference in hour or minute between two times. So maybe there is a shift which is start at 1420 minutes and 15. So you need to find out the difference between these two times. Okay. Or uh, maybe it's started at 2320 and ends the next day 110. So you need to find out the time difference. So let me show you the result first. Just and that's it. So 1420 and 15, there is a 14 minute difference, so 0 hour and 40 minutes. And 60 to 60 30 then it's 0 hour and 30 minutes and 23 20 to 110 there is uh, 1 hour and 50 minutes time difference. so what the code actually do so let me be clear something there is no there is no direct formula for this type of calculation and uh, if you need to take the data in a user form uh, then you need to calculate the difference or duration from there okay so instead of cells maybe the data can be in a user from text box so let me show you the code so this is the calling shell and it's called the duration function okay so i write a function for the function duration so if this functions takes two variable one is text one or actually it should be start time and this is end time okay so so these uh, two variable are text and this return of this function is also a string type data okay so at first i declare two variables hour as integer and minute as integer the, because uh, it cannot be larger than maybe 12 hour or 24 hour or uh, 48 hour maximum and minute will be maximum 60 minutes so i don't need to declare it as long and on error resume next if there is any error then it will execute the next line so if it's find any error in this line then it will go to the next line it will neglect this line so at first what I did, I just replaced the text 1 delimiter colon with dot. So it will be easier to, to use decimal data to calculate something. Okay? So I just replaced colon with decimal point or dot. And same things with text 2. So at first I check as the text 1 and text 2 is numeric or not. So if it's not numeric data then it will uh, return a message or it will pop up a message that it's not a numeric data so it may be a text may be a name or something else so then for calculating the hour so what it is i use fixed function i click fixed function so fixed function actually take the integer part of a double type of data so there is another function called cint so the function is cint and it's it's operate same way as fixed but the difference is cint round up and fixed does not round up so it will just take the integer portion so i need to use the fixed function instead of cint for mini so i use c double so it will convert the text to a double number and fix so I just take the double number and subtract the integer part so if see so let's say 2320 so 2320 the cddbl text it will convert 23.20 or 23 decimal point 20 and fix it will return 23 so if you subtract then it will become 0 0.20 then we multiply it with 100 so it will be 20 so it it's the end time same process is with the 
start time so it will return the difference in minute and we need to check if hour is negative then hour equals hour plus 24 so if hour is negative so for the third option so 23 20 and 1 20 so if we subtract hour so 1 minus 23 is minus 22 because it's the next day date time so i need to add 24 hours so i just add 24 hours so hr will be 2 and the next checking is minute if minute is less than 0 that means uh, our text 1 minute is greater than the text 2 minute or start minute start time minute is greater than the end time minute so for this 20 is greater than 10 so if we subtract 10 minus 20 then it will be minus 10 so if it's minus 10 then what i need to do i need to subtract 1 from here and add 60 to minute so actually i did this in this line so i add 60 to the minute and subtract 1 from hour because this one hour is here okay so after that we get the hour and minute form so and there is a else message box so it was for numeric checking so if there's not a numeric data then it will pop up a message start time and end time must be a new number form of data and at the last i just formatted ihr as 00 and main it is 00 and concatenate it with colon and return the duration so it will return the duration and this value will be in column c so if you click it that's it so it, it need not to be a custom type of data it can be just general text so if you want to apply this in text box any user form you can apply it. thank you